Nichols to talk a little bit about the Internal Medicine Question Bank, and I was going to go over one of the questions with you today. Let's jump in. A 36-year-old female presents with severe diarrhea for the past several months. She has undergone colonoscopy, blood tests, and stool testing. All studies have been normal. She admits to drinking well water for several years. On exam, she also has linear white lines on her fingernails. Based on the physical exam findings and her symptoms, which of the following is the most likely cause of her diarrhea? A. Giardia that has not been detected. B. Arsenic poisoning. C. Carbon monoxide poisoning. D. Marijuana abuse. Or E. Cocaine abuse. So there's a few, a few clues that we can tease out from the stem. The one that jumps out to me is the white linear lines in her fingers. The white linear lines are something called Mies lines, M-E-E, -E. and Mies lines are very, very typical of a certain poisoning, specifically arsenic poisoning. Diarrhea overall can be a very nondescript symptom. The other trick in this stem is that when they talk about her drinking well water, they want to steer us toward another diagnosis of Giardia. But the fact that all of her serologies and, and stool samples have been negative um, is suggested that's probably not the right answer. Also, given the chronicity of what's going on with her, you wouldn't expect something like carbon monoxide poisoning to be causing this. Seldom does it cause diarrhea, but it also would be more of an acute onset and an acute um, demise of her health status. Since this has been going on for a much more longer period of time, such as several months, the chronicity suggests otherwise. Also similarly, marijuana, cocaine, not traditionally going to cause chronic diarrhea, um, and the other symptoms don't necessarily line up with these, these types of, of behaviors. So arsenic poisoning, known to cause diarrhea, usually can cause mental status change as well. And it's also known to cause vitamin A deficiency chronically, which can lead to night blindness, which is another um, pearl to think about when looking at stems for poisoning. I'm Dr. Mike Natter. I hope you enjoyed this. Join me again for another question.